Hello, my real estate family. This is Shauna Goot with JPAR Elite. I'm coming to you live from the parks in North Las Vegas. It's a lovely community here, um, gated in North Las Vegas. I was just helping a client out and um, I couldn't get back to the office in time to do the live. So I thought, well, we have this gorgeous park here. I'll kind of just show you beautiful park the trees and for once it's not hotter than Hades out so it's a beautiful morning I thought well this is a perfect opportunity to go outside and have a little chat so here I am so um, today I wanted to talk about um, some of the things that we do as real estate agents of going above and beyond for our clients there's a, a, a jet hopefully you can't hear that too loud um, but that's kind of what I was doing for this particular client, which kind of led to, you know, th things being a little bit, um, I, I don't want to say inconvenient, but they, they just weren't I the ideal circumstances um, to do the live, but um, it was helping a client out. So what I had done, or what the situation was, was my client is moving into a a little bit before escrow closes and as she was moving her things in um, lo and behold the garage door um, breaks so I think we've all been there and I think um, the rent back or, or pre-possession or post-possession something always seems to go wrong personally I'm not a huge fan of it just because of the liability issues you know who pays for what if there was some kind of catastrophic damage you know who's who's um whose responsibility is it or you know everyone wants to most people say you know the seller says oh no the buyer's into the the home then the buyer should pay for it and the buyer's saying well it's not my home yet i'm technically a renter you know so there's a million different situations that, that come across from it but um in this particular situation I, I think it really was for the best to get the buyer in there just a little bit early um, so we, like I said, the garage door went out and we had to call an emergency garage door person on Sunday of last week. That person came out, um, said that there were some springs wrong with the door and ultimately recommended a, a new whole garage unit just because it was kind of old and eventually probably sooner rather than later it was going to need to be replaced. Uh, however, that the cost for that is pretty substantial. So we were looking for alternative, al alternate situations or alternate solutions rather. And we, it turned out that there was, there was a little bit of work done in a couple months ago on the garage. So the, we got the company that did that work to come back out and, and take a look at the, the work that he had done as maybe it wasn't the up to par, or maybe, you know, it, it didn't, it didn't take so he came back out did a couple adjustments to the door and yay the door is fixed so um, for now anyway it is on its last leg so hopefully it it lasts at least a few more months here and um, until my buyer can get a new garage door and, and have the property be officially hers so that being said I wanted to talk a little bit about what you do to go above and beyond for your clients um, so I should back up, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. But for this particular situation, the garage door guy was supposed to be there between 11 and one. Well, my client wasn't able to be there because she was working. So I said, no problem, I'll be there. Um, I'll get there around 10.30, you know, I'll stay until he's finished and then I'll, I'll get the key back to you and, and all will be good. Um, so when I got here, the garage door company was actually here a little early. My client was still here at the house, so it turned out I, I wasn't really needed in this particular situation. But I think uh, our, our clients really find relief when we are there for them, even if we're not quote unquote needed. So I wanted to, to push it back out and say, what have you done for your clients that, that maybe you don't need to do, or maybe it's not really necessary for you to do but maybe you're adding value to the real estate transaction for your client what are some of those things that you've done for your client 
over the years. Uh, I'm sure we'll ha we're here we'll hear some from some doozies and some good stories there. Um, I'm just gonna reminisce a little bit. There there was one client who uh, it was a new new build and the upgrades that were picked out looked different in the the home as it was being built at from the design center when they were picked out so I got a frantic call from one of my clients and it said I hate all the upgrades they're awful I don't want to move into this house I mean the whole the whole nine yards and we're way past contingencies we're way past everything and I'm thinking well if they if they don't want to purchase a house that's fine but they're probably gonna lose their deposit at this point so um, I went down it was clear across town from where I was I literally dropped everything that I was doing and I, I ran around ran across town and I took pictures of the the home the upgrades um, said the client said that it was a little too yellow or it was a little not what not what was intended for for the pick out so went there and it didn't look yellow at all and I'm thinking oh my goodness what what could it have been and I got to thinking and I bet it was when the Sun was going down you know how everything kind of gets a little bit more yellow so when my clients had seen it it was kind of right when the Sun was going down so everything had that kind of yellow glaze over top of it which made it look different than it than it actually looks so we got the client to calm down and um, realize that the, the upgrades truly are as beautiful as they were in the design center and it might be ugly just for those few minutes when the sun's going down but all was well and uh, clients absolutely love their new house and love the upgrades and love everything about it so uh, but it was kind of funny just dropping everything to go take pictures and it seems silly like you know what am I gonna do about it I'm gonna take a picture and maybe she maybe the client hates it maybe they're they're gonna love it but I think it was meaningful to the client that I was willing to literally drop what I was doing to go comfort that client and sometimes I think our clients need that from a lot of times I think our clients need that from us to the comfort that knowing that we're there um, not even not only just not only ha handling the real estate transaction side of it but just a friend and a person who they can trust with the, their opinion with your opinion a person that they can lean on um, if they have a decision to make you know that you're gonna give them the the best information that you have available um, and just knowing that they're that you're there for them I, I think that's one of our most important roles as an agent um, so throwing it out there what have you done put it in the comments I'd love to see and um, follow us for next lunch at 11 we're Monday Wednesday Friday at 11 and if you have any topics that you'd like to discuss please send them in the comments we will happily integrate them into the show so um, I should have started out um, I think we're on episode oh goodness I don't know 18 19 close hopefully and this has been a tremendous experience I appreciate all the support that we've been getting um, so again follow us and thank you for being there and supporting us and uh, hopefully you get some value out of it and hopefully I can do the same for you so until next time I'll see you later bye bye